Today, we're catching some sun and waves with Tracy, a QHS admin whose life is as vibrant and refreshing as a seaside breeze. What currents brought her to the sunny shores of the quantum shift? Let's surf behind the scenes to see the wave she's been riding. Hi, my name is Tracy, and for years now, I've been struggling with knee and shoulder pain from sports injuries. Moving is my mental therapy, and I cannot survive without it. This is a double-edged sword that many don't fully understand, but I know there's more waiting for me, more trails to run, more weights to lift, and more beaches to walk. This is a chance to teach my future grandchildren to fall in love with movement safely, of course. I love hiking and biking with my hubby and grown sons and envision a life of active travel vacations throughout the world, pain-free. I'm holding on to the chance to share these incredible moments with my entire family, and that's why I'm here at QHS. My name is Tracy, and I am the QHS VP of Communications, and today I'm going to share my prequel. So I was born and raised in San Jose, California, and have lived here almost my entire life, and I had an okay but troubling childhood. My parents got divorced early on when I was only 10, and so my mom was single, raising two kids, not even knowing really what to do. I was fortunate enough to live down the street from my grandparents, who had a lot of help in raising me. I was very, very close with both of them. My dad was really abusive, and so I was actually happy that they got a divorce, but it just was a rough go all the way around. Growing up, I felt like I never really fit in, but I did have different groups of friends and had a pretty normal upbringing. I went to college in San Jose State, majored in international business, and then I was accepted at Santa Clara University Law School. And I took a little break. I had a gap year so that I could travel. And during that gap year, I met my husband. So we actually got married in 1990 and have been married now for 34 years. We have three grown kids, all boys, ranging in ages from 27, 29, and 30. And we're really close, tight-knit family. I live on a farm in Northern California, and we have five acres. We have lots of fruit trees and chickens and a big, huge garden. I love the outdoors. I love hiking and mountain biking. I love working out at the gym and doing yoga. I'm very active and have been for a really long time, which has got me into trouble because my knees from years and years of running are all messed up. I've had two knee surgeries and they still aren't right. I have a shoulder issue right here from lifting weights. That injury actually happened back in 2016, and it's just pretty much chronic right now. I eat really healthy, a ketogenic diet primarily, because my mom has Alzheimer's and my dad had cancer five times. And in doing research for them, I found this lifestyle for myself that I adopted for prevention's sake. And I love exercising, it's actually my therapy. So that is something that's really easy for me, but kind of being still is a challenge. I have a really hard time just being quiet and meditating and resting. I'm just a a goer and a doer, and I, I just feel best when I'm busy. I am a personal trainer and a holistic health coach, and I have been for about 15 years. And so health has been a priority for me for a very, very long time. And watching both of my parents suffer with various diseases through their lifetime has had me take a look in the mirror and say, I do not want to age like they did. I am looking forward to my do-over. And if I start with the tips of my toes, I notice a list of things that I would like to see on my wish list. So there is a bunion on my right foot I'd like to see gone. And my feet are pigeon-toed. I was born that way. Thanks to having three kids in three years, I have varicose veins pretty much all over my legs. And I also am bow-legged, which I wasn't always. That was something that was developed somehow, who knows how, but 
because of that, I have a lot of knee pain. I believe it's from the knees pulling out and then it pinching on the inside. I have a scar above my left knee from a cyst that was removed, gosh, back in college. And I have a scar on my upper abdomen from a hernia I had, probably again for having three kids in three years. I had to have that repaired shortly after the birth of my third. Of course, I would like a little lift, you know where. (laughs) And my neck could use a little lift as well. So a little nip and tuck on the old face would be good. My teeth could use some work because I have an implant and I also have a crown on a different area of my mouth. My wisdom teeth are gone. Also extra molars that I had pulled when I got braces as a child. I wear contacts, so I'd like to have perfect vision without contacts. And of course, my hair is mostly gray. (laughs) Believe it or not, I have to get my hair done every three weeks. Have to have that colored. I also have sunspots. If you can't tell, I'm a sun lover. And so I have lots and lots of sunspots that it would be nice for them to go. And my skin is crepey and sags, especially on the top of my thighs. I notice in yoga, if I'm wearing shorts, that it's just really saggy skin. So I feel like with QHS, I'm definitely on the upswing in life. I am stronger than I've ever been before. I am happier than I've ever been before. And I know that my post QR world is going to be on fire. I look forward to opening different healing centers all around the world and do this with the QHS team. I'm so excited to bring healing technology to the so deserving people on the planet. It's just not okay to live with disease year after year after year, popping pills for symptoms. And together as a team, we can heal the world. I thank God every day for being a part of this amazing company And I just love the idea of having my husband and being married for 30 more years and just keep adding this joy to our lives as we help ourselves, we help others. So thank you so much, QHS. Thank you, Cynthia, Dr. A, and everyone else. Love to you all. Join us on the prequel where every story matters and every voice is heard because here at QHS, We're all about healing, learning, and growing together.